Hi everybody, today I will show you how to create timeline in Elementor. So let's begin. Alright, so to create the timeline in Elementor, what we need to do, we have to install the plugin. So for that, we have to go inside the plugin and click on the add new. And here we have to search for Elementor add-on elements. So as you can see here, we have the Elementor add-on elements at the top of the search. So we have to install this. So I have already installed this plugin. So all I need to do is to activate this. So let's click here. Okay, so now what I need to do, I have to go inside the Elementor add-ons elements. So let's click here. And here you can see the dashboard of the Elementor add-on elements. Okay, so here what we need to do, we have to enable the timeline that you can see is already enabled or activated. Okay, so now what I need to do, I would actually need to create a new page for the timeline okay so let's click on the add new in the pages okay so let's just write down the title for our page here so that would be timeline okay so let's click on add it with elementor okay so as you can see here that we are inside the elementor editor so now what we need to do we have to uh, search for timeline here okay so as you can see here that we have the timeline by elementor add-on elements okay so we have to drag and drop this and now you will be able to see the timeline. Okay, so now you can see this, we have the timeline here. Okay, so let's quickly add the heading at the top. So let's drag the heading and put this here. Okay, so here, let's just write down my timeline. All right. Okay, so now let's click on the timeline here. So in the timeline, as you can see that we have the three different options. The first one is the skins and the second one is the timeline and the last one is the global icon, okay? So in the skins, we have the three different skins here. We have the skin one, two, three, and four. Okay, so let's select the skin two now. So this is how the skin two is looking. So if I just click on the skin three, this is how it will be looking. And in the last, we have the skin four. So this is how the skin four would be looking. So at the moment, I would actually select the skin two here because I really like the skin two here. And after that, we have the source of our timeline. So in the source of our timeline, at the moment, we have the custom. And along with that, we have the post as well. So if you want to create timeline of your blog post, you can also do it from here. But I will actually go here with the default value. So after that, let's just explore the option of the timeline. So in the timeline, as you can see that we have the three different items. As you can see here, we have the three items here in the timeline. So if you want to add the new item, you simply click on the add new item. And here, as you can see here, that we have the date of the timeline. We have the link, we have the title, we have the icon, we have the content. So you can simply add the content from here. And if you want to add the media or the image, okay, you simply click on the media here and you simply add the media here as well. And in the last, we would have the style. So in this style, we actually have the three different options custom card style, custom image style, and the custom icon style. So if you want to do the customization on the card style, and you simply enable this, and you can see here that we have the different options here. We have the option to change the color of the title, date color, content color, and the background color. And we can also change the colors on the hover effect and also on the focus effect as well, okay? And in the last, we have the alignment as well, okay? And if you want to customize the image style, you would also enable this. And if you want to customize the icon style, you would also enable this. Okay. So at the moment, I would actually like to delete my item for here. Okay. So let's delete this. And if you want to customize the existing items here, you simply click here. And from here, you can simply customize the value as per your need. Okay. So here, I would actually change the value of the date. So that would be 23 here. All right, so let's scroll this up and you will be able to see 23 here. Okay, so that is in the timeline. So after the timeline, we have the global icon that you can see here. So if you want to change this icon, you simply go inside the global icon. And from here, you can change the icon here. Okay, so let's click here. And I will simply write down. Take here. Okay, so let's go with this icon. Insert and you can also see the other options here of the view and the shape so if you want to change the shape here as you can see here that we have the circle shape so if you want to change the shape you simply do it from here you can see here that we have the circle and we have the square 
but I will actually go here with the circle shape and in the view as you can see here we have the two different values we have the stacked and the frame and I would like to have the framed value here as well okay so this is how we can change the icon here and you can also add the custom icon and the text if you want to okay so after the content we have the style so if I just go inside here you will be able to see the five different options here one is the layout and the second one is the card deed connector and the icon so in the layout as you can set the alignment here you can set the responsive style for the mobile only and for also mobile and tablet okay so after that we have the responsive orientation okay so if you want to change the responsive orientation you can also change it from here but right now I'll simply disable this value and the default value is the left and we also have the horizontal spacing and the vertical spacing so let's just add the horizontal spacing here okay so this is looking fine and if you want to add the vertical spacing you can do it from here okay so now let's click on the card here so in the card we have the bunch of different options so we have the option of the alignment painting and in the image as you can see that we have the alignment again and the alternate style we have the size we have the spacing we have the radius value and you can also see that we have the arrow alignment border type and title color content color title typography content typography and you can also see the bunch of different options here and after that we have the date so in the date we have the similar kind of options of the padding margin and the color and after that we have the connector okay so in the connector we have the color progress color okay so if i just scroll down you will be able to see the blue color here so that is actually the progress color so i want to change this okay so i actually want to uh, match the color of the progress with the color of our icons so that is actually the green color okay so let's click here and here we have the green color so let's just select this and now you will be able to see that we have the matching color of the icon and our progress bar here okay and we also have the color here so if you want to change the color of this line you can also do it from here okay so let's just click here and here i would actually go here a kind of grayish in the white color so that would be theme color six okay all right so i think i should actually go here a bit darker color all right so this is looking better okay and you also have the progress offset and the thickness so if you want to increase the thickness you can do it from here and in the last we have the icon so in the icon as you can see this we have the primary color secondary color and the other options that we have seen earlier of the size pairing and the rotate all right so as you can see here all right so now let's just publish our timeline here so let's click on the publish and now let's just have a look at our page and you will be able to see the timeline here okay so this is how our timeline is looking okay so if i just scroll down you will be able to see the progress bar here and this is looking really great here so this is how we can create the timeline in the Elementor. So if you really find this video useful, hit the like button and subscribe to the channel.